Hi everyone. Let's work exercise 11.4, which uh, deals with accounting for notes payable. Okay, to the left of my mouse it reads, Ideal Systems borrows 104,000 cash on May 15th by signing a 60-day 12% note. Okay, on what date does this note mature? Alright, well we've got to go May 15th plus 60 days. And you could add that or use a calculator, but I'm going to show you how I use Excel to solve that. Let me slide this over so we just get a little bit of Excel on the screen. All right, let's put in, let's put in uh, that May 15th date, 5-15-2008. Okay, there's the date. Now, if we take that and add 60 to it, we should get the ending date we're looking for. Okay, comes up with July 14th, so I'll hit my F2 key. So all we did was take a date format plus 60 days, and Excel returns 714. I'll slide that out of, way, out of the way. We'll enter July 14th as the answer, and that's part one. Now let's slide and give us a little bit of room for part two here. Suppose the face value of the note equals 104000 the principal of a loan. Prepare the journal entries to record the following. Okay, the issuance of the note. Okay, well, if we borrow 104000 and the face value of the note is 104000 then we should receive cash for $104,000. Okay? And um, we would credit a note's payable in the amount of 104000 Okay? Now, let's take a look at B. Payment of the note at maturity. All right, when we pay the note back at maturity, we know we've got to pay back 104000 plus interest. Um, and we know the note will go away, so we can debit the notes payable for the face amount, and that will go away. But then we've got a couple other entries we need to consider. Okay, now I've adjusted the screen so we can see the full debits and credits. Now, to calculate the interest, I want to bring Excel back up again. We do know, um, let me slide back down here, the loan was a, uh, right there, a 60-day 12% note. Okay, so let me slide this down. Oh, I got, my mouse doesn't want to scroll now, so I'll switch to the built-in mouse. Um, we've got a 60-day 12% note. So let me slide back down so we can get the debits and credits there. And I'll bring Excel back in again. Okay, now I've, I've staged some of this for us. I've filled in the face amount, which is 104000 The interest rate is 12%. The days are 60, and we assume there's 360 days in the year, which is very common to use. So now we need to calculate the interest expense. I'll do that here. Okay, we would take the 104000 times the 12%, and the rates are always given on an annual basis, and then we need to take it times the partial year, and our partial year is 60 divided by 360, so that's the fraction of the year, and based on that, we calculate an interest amount of $2,080, okay, and I'll format that a little bit, and uh, probably we should have formatted that as well, so let me slide that off. And now we have the 2080, so we know we're going to have interest expense we need to debit for that 2080. And then we need to credit cash um, because we're paying back what we borrowed plus what we owed. And the total of that is 106,080. Okay, and uh, that takes care of this problem. Thanks, everyone.